This is Matrix Lord 212. Hello, everybody. So, we are talking gaming today. Platinum trophies, stuff like that. Um, so, I finally purchased Bricks 1 and 2. Um, because of the Candy Break games, the only thing I didn't get was the original three. Bricks... I think it's Bricks Head to Head and Bricks 2. I didn't get the Head to Head one yet. So I got Bricks 1 and 2. I got Active Neurons 3. And I got Imposer. Imposer. I always get that name wrong. So I, I beat the Platinum for Im Imposer. I think, is that how you say it? For the life of me, I don't know why. I got to figure out how to say it. Uh, I beat that. And yeah, Bricks 1 and 2, not that easy. Uh, I was talking to Ruben, um, who's the developer at the S-Mobile, and he said it's a toughie, both of those two. Uh, and yeah, it's long. Um, but <clears throat> I am such a fan of those games. Sushi, sushi Break, Donut Break, um, Halloween, the Christmas one, the Space one, the Dragon break the, the I, I probably missed quite a few but uh i got i played every single one of them except for the bricks games and i beat every single one of them and the head-to-head -head versions so right now i'm waiting for the dragon break head-to-head -head, which will come out the end of may uh and then i'm gonna get the independence day break and the independence day break head to head uh so i decided let me get the bricks one and two when i beat those and platinum those then i'll get the head to head one and then finish that off um active neurons i got one and two and uh the games are great fantastic after a while you, you get buggy eyed trying to do the puzzles because there's so many uh what is it like 80 or more it's crazy amount so um you know, and I think you get like eight, right? Whatever it is, whatever the amount they have, it just, it drives you crazy. So, uh, I could plot them active neurons three right away, but I've been playing the other two so much that I need a break from active neurons sometimes. Um, and I guess I need a break from bricks also because I'm bugging out and I'm getting trophies but I'm not getting platinum trophies like I'm used to. Like, usually I'll get so many a week. Like, sometimes I get, like, 10 a week. And then on bad weeks, I'll get, like, a few. So I feel like I fell behind on my goals for the platinums. Uh, and I really need to get up to 210, like, fast. Uh, so, I mean, that's my own personal thing. I don't have to. But I'm actually ahead for the year. Uh, so far, because I want to get 305 Platinums by December 31st, 2021. And I wanted to get 200 Platinums by the end of May. And I got it at the beginning of May. So that that's that's cool. We're ahead of the game. Um, I played some games recently, and I was really pissed that... Okay, like right in the game In Rays of Light, right? was playing it, I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing it, this is going to be a platinum, didn't realize I did a massive mistake, and one of the mistakes I made was, because I know they said don't get the flashlight in the, you know, because if you're, or if you're in the old sunlight too long, it's over, right, you don't get the good ending, I put the lantern on by accident, and it disqualified me from having the real ending. And I didn't realize that. And then I went through the whole thing and I'm like, oh my God. So I didn't want to go back into it again and just do the whole damn thing again. Sometimes you just don't want to play and beat the game a second time, you know, or a third time, whatever. Some games you have to, but I was done. Just like Cluley's Treasure, constantly beating the game. What am I doing wrong? Oh, you're not, you're not allowed to save it. Like a, a, a save file. Because it disqualifies you from getting the secrets. That pissed me off. I finally got that, but I didn't get... Because, oh, you can't die now. So now you got to go beat the game, but you got to have a save file. It's like that other game drove me nuts. The um, Our Church and Halloween RPG Story 1. You have to get it exactly without falling in a hole. 
I, I had to have that for the 99th. And then, to my surprise, when I go for my 100th one, and I wanted to make a big deal out of it, because people are like, oh, you know, you should. It's 100th one. Absolutely, you're right. I forgot that every single game that I was working on was erased because I had to fix the PlayStation because it was not letting me get the trophies. Like, it wasn't popping. It was a malfunction. It wasn't synced right. So I had to delete... I had to do whatever I had. To, I forgot what I had to do. Somebody, I watched somebody's video how to fix it. And I finally had to delete my profile and re, and then everything that that I didn't back up, which I don't usually back up stuff with saves because I don't really have time. I don't know how to do it. And I'm like, oh, okay. And Bloodborne, Rayman, Pac-Man, Championship Edition 2. Ooh. And now I'm heartbroken because Rayman, that's the one thing that should have been 100 Platinum. And I didn't get it because now I have to do it from scratch. Same thing like Bloodborne. That would have been 100 Platinum. Yeah. And the Dark Souls. Oh, everything got wiped. I don't think anything was saved. No. Everything was wiped. So now I was like, the hell with it. I just don't care what the 200, what, what the 200 is going to be. Just getting it. I could always get Crash. One, I could always get Resident Evil. I could always get, like, Rayman Legends. I mean, not always. It, it's going to have to take me a year, probably, or less, with the Rayman Legends. But, God, it makes me sad thinking about it, right? I love playing video games. I love playing video games in my spare time, which I try to find time every day to play. And it's very enjoyable. I love video games. So, there was a list of games that I wanted to platinum that I had trouble with. Black and White Bushido. Let's talk about that one. That should have been platinum already. The thing called, the achievement's called Death from Above. Where you gotta teleport right above your enemy and use a flash bomb or something. And I don't know how to do it. And every now and then I try to go back in and I'm like, how the hell do I do this? How, why is this difficult for me, but not anybody else in the world? Who who knows? Who the frig knows how I could play Bloodborne? I could like do better than tons of people. But when it comes to like a stupid thing, like black and white Bushido, I can't do a simple effing thing of teleport exactly over the person 10 times. That bothers me. Ghostbusters, I beat a million times. Can't do the easy, less damage with the proton pack thing. Goosebumps, beat the game a million times. First one. Can't do the thing where you got to do the exact... You can't make one extra turn. I screwed that up. Thy Sword. That game bothered me. Because... I beat everything, and then I'm like, oh, that's not it. What the hell is this? And then you got to fight this guy, then him come, you fight the second guy, but you only get 10 arrows. What the F is that? And I, I, that's the one thing I hate about games. is like They make it like you get all these upgrades and shit, and then it's just you don't really notice it, the upgrades. Like, where is it? Like, how are you stronger? And then 10 arrows. Why don't I have more than 10 arrows? Then I, so, Thy Sword, Disappointment. That I didn't get the Platinum. These are not, like, some of these games are not major games, but they bother me. Okay? Delta Squad did every effing thing. For the life of me, I don't know why I can't get it where I could find, I gotta do all these missions, then find this friggin' thing. And go in there and fight the boys. And I just can't finish that either. And I don't like games I can't finish. So. That's on the list. And let me tell you something. I'm such nuts when it comes to gaming. That. I have three friggin notebooks. I and, and it's like. Don't even ask me the rhyme or reason why. I have three. Should be one. Um, well with this one. The. The. The in Primark clothing store, which is technically a European clothing store, but they have it in America now, which I love Primark. 
They had these Spider-Man books. And I'm like a little kid because I'm a Spider-Man nut, you know? Spider-Man's my favorite superhero. So they had this, and I'm like, oh, I got to buy it. This will be a new gaming book with files and everything. Then on my first page, I'm, I'm, I write, I'll show you what it looks like. So I write, PS4 Potentials. Potentials. So this was on March 26, 2021, right? So this is what I write on here. If you can tell, I hope it's not backwards. So I got on here, no escape, beat that. Got on here, I die with glory, beat that. Got on there, evil inside, beat that. That was the, la the last thing I beat. Uh, Synergia. And then there's the game Pumpkin Jack, which I never purchased yet. Uh, which I had every intention of purchasing. And then I'm like, oh, it's $30. Wow. So, yeah. Then on the side, I have, I have a thing on the side, if you notice. And it says, Kaluli's Treasure 1. That side is stuff that I didn't beat, that I should have beat, that there's the five potentials there. Then it's Delta Squad. Square Boy versus Bullies. That game's a pain in the ass. Ghostbusters Remastered and one of my favorite zombie games, Blood Waves. Can't get that one achievement, the Repairman Trophy achievement. I even enlisted help with Bad Wolf 66. Even bought the game for him. <laughs> Everything. I bought the game for him. I, I give his money, buy the game. Tell me how to get this trophy. That's how crazy that game got me. Remember that, Bad Wolf? Um, then we got number six, Boom Blaster, beat that. Bullet Beat was number seven, beat that. Maniket, Maniket? Never bought that. It's, it, it's going to be bought eventually. I'm going to purchase that eventually. In Rays of Light, no check. And then Arog, I checked that. On the other side, number six, you could see, Guard Duty. I just stopped playing that. I got annoyed. Distraint 2. Never even played that yet. Finger on the Roof. That game's a pain in the ass. Not gonna lie. Thy Sword. Yeah. That freaking game. And Goosebumps, the original one. Yeah. So then on the bottom, I have... Um, on the... On that side, it's Invert. I see on the bottom... And I got a platinum for that. And the pillar pl puzzle didn't buy that yet. And then on the other side, Downwell. Game's a pain in the ass. But I like it. And Hybroxia. The whole thing got erased. And now I got to start from scratch. So that that was that book. Um, and then on the back. Um, I just mix shit up in there. I don't know why. Because... I do other stuff besides gaming. I do like lessons and stuff and soda lessons and donut lessons and pizza lessons. And I guess I just kind of wrote on here too. It's not just a gaming book, it's an everything book. So I was like, oh, uh, soda lessons. Let's get this root beer. Let's get this orange drink. Uh, then I was just jotting some notes for some games. Uh, then I wrote um, some games here. I guess that I purchased Tower of Dragon Asia, bought that, checked it off. Tanks and Demons 3, I didn't even buy that yet. The World of Nebula, didn't buy that yet. Sly, didn't buy that yet. Winter's Daydream, bought that. Platinum, did without escape. Uh, yeah, I think I, yeah, just, did I say I just platinum that? Uh, even the Ocean, didn't buy that yet. Theme Park Simulator, gotta buy that. Tick Tock Letters by Paugi, and one word by Paugi, didn't buy those games yet. Um, then potential Platinum's to-do list, uh, Die With Glory, yeah, beat that, Kaluli's Treasure, nope, Hybroxia, nope, Guard Duty, nope, Shoot 1-Up DX, I just, there was an issue with the game when my PlayStation was effed up, and I just stopped playing it, even when my PlayStation was restored, I just never went back into it, um, Project Starship X, what a pain in the ass that maneuver is. V3 is. Still didn't do it. Need to do that for the Platinum. It drives me crazy. I try that every week. Um, Iris Fall. I bought that finally. And I never played it. 
Inferno 2, I, I got something happened, I stopped playing it. Bla Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, I like it, I stopped playing it. Then I made a list on this thing. This is from April 26th, uh, 2021. The Skyly Prophecy, yeah, I beat it. Our Church Halloween, yeah, I beat it. Evil Inside, yep. Again, Cluey's Treasure, nope. This other game, Akalasia. That game sucks. That game got me so pissed, I just stopped. Didn't even, I deleted it, didn't even, I was done. I don't like the color schematic. I don't like the playthrough. It sucks. I don't know if I ever get back into it. I hope so. But so then on the other side, I got Hybroxia, Delta Squad, Square Boy vs. Bullies, Project Starship X, Die Sword. Yeah, those guys still didn't get Platinums. Uh, oh, yeah, Delicious Pretty Girls, Manjan, Solitaire. I beat that. And then Rays of Light. Nope. And then I said, future games I'm going to purchase. Active Neuron 3. Yep, bought that. Bricks, Bricks Head to Head, didn't buy Bricks to Head to Head yet. Bricks 2, yes. And then I had a list. What is going to be my 199th Platinum? At that point in time, when, when I found out, you know, things are getting erased, whatever. Whatever, man. Uh, so that's it for this book, and that's a fairly new book. Um, and then I have a list of, that goes back on the other ones. Um, hopefully today... And here's the thing that also was stopping me from gaming me. Let me let me say that again. Hopefully today I'll play some games. Um, but I want to get into what stopped me from playing video games. And that is, uh, I had this infection in my mouth from like work done on my teeth that didn't realize there was an infection. And then things got... My body started degrading for the past two weeks after I had that surgery. And I didn't realize it. And I'm like, you, know, you put things off. Don't put things off, guys, because you croak. Okay? If you think you're a medical expert, you're not with your body. So if the stuff starts going wrong, like you start getting a sore throat, and you have problems with your ears, and you have problems with your nose, and your eyes, all connected, right? Then something happens with your throat where you progressively can't eat. As soon as I found out that I couldn't even eat donuts, because that was the thing on my channel, it should have been to the doctor immediately. Like, what's going on? When I had trouble eating Cheerios, yeah, that should have been a doctor thing. No, I waited to the end where I almost had to go to the hospital because I could. I felt like my throat was getting closed up. And then my equilibrium's off because of my ears. So I was like, let me go to City MD. Of course, while I'm there, even though I got vaccinated, it's like, let me just get the COVID test. Got to make sure because got to go back to work. Who won't be able to go back to work if they have COVID, of course. So I also got a strep test. No strep. The woman was astounded that she didn't know how I was functioning the way I was. She said my throat had so much stuff in it. Like an infection, pus, really bad. Like the next step would have been hospital. Like I would have been closed up and would have had a problem. Talking about it, talking about it, trying to figure out how this happened. Then she's like, you know, I was talking about how, how they're doing root canal, still didn't finish it, whatever. And they're like, oh, you had your top teeth done? I'm like, yeah. You don't have any ant antibiotic? I'm like, you know, like I didn't think, because like usually when I go get my teeth done, I get an antibiotic. Didn't give me an antibiotic. And I'm like, okay. But I didn't think of it. It's not their fault. It's my fault. Because I should have been like, oh, do I need an antibiotic? Um, so yeah, that's what it was. It affected the whole upper respiratory thing. And then it had to give me drops because she couldn't even see my eardrum. My good ear. This is my good ear. So it was so bad <clears throat> that... The medicine was going to give me problems with my stomach, and I had to be out. But, of course, I do the truck on Thursday night to Friday, so I unload a truck. So that's the one day I really can't be out. But I was like, all right, if, I, if I'm out, I'm out, right? But uh, I did the truck the overnight. But I was out the whole week. So I'm home, and I'm like, okay, um, I guess I got to play games and platinum games. It didn't work out that way because... 
it's so uncomfortable when you feel that something's in your throat and you can't get it out. In the past, you'd like go to throw up or something, but it's it's like a drip. It's like whatever. It's not even that like it's a drip or something. It's just an annoyance, and then you can't hear. So I was very uncomfortable, not really feeling. I wasn't sick. It's just infection was driving me nuts. So I wasn't playing games like I should. Sleeping. This video has gone on over 20 minutes. Look at that. It's a biography now. All right. Long story short, <clears throat> it's going to take a while for the amoxicillin to kick in. They say it could take like a week after for you to see results. I don't have any results. It's not a week yet. So I think Monday Monday night or Tuesday, Monday night will be a, a week. So hopefully I have things where I feel like I'm getting better. Because it's been hell eating, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I feel better enough to play games today. <clears throat> Thank God I got my comics yesterday. It sounds like it's raining outside. I don't know. And I all sell nasal. And also, too, I hardly do videos if I can't even freaking hear myself. And I feel like crap. So no podcasts. No, it, like, videos were here and there were sporadic. I did do these videos on the um, 7-Eleven drinks that I really love. Um, all right. So today, God willing, if I'm feeling better, I'm going to try to get some platinums. Because I got trophies, but where's your platinums? Haven't got a platinum in, like, what, two days? Not good. So that's the goal today is to relax before work tomorrow, get some damn platinums. I really want to go into the unfinished business list. That should be a segment. PS4 unfinished business list. Tro trophy. Now, how, what do we call it? Trophy... PS4 Trophy Unfinished Business List. How about that? Yeah. Unfortunately, I got to do the Square Boy vs. Bullies thing again because everything got erased. That sucks. Hate that. Even Pac-Man, all my shit got erased. I'm pissed. Qbert, I had to do the whole damn thing again. And then I gave up. Oh. And then there's a list of games I want to purchase. Because, I, of course... Why would I stop buying games? I mean, I only got like a list of what? Hundreds of games I got to beat? And sure, let's just add shit to the list. Because that's me. Oh, I can't. I just bought a game two days ago. I, I got to buy a game. I can't have this. I need to have all this stuff in the background. I need to have at least 10 games to work on. And then, of course, I get... A, this is the funny thing with me. I get a platinum. I'm like, oh, that's an excuse. I need five games. Yeah. No. Then some people are like, are you rich, Major Slud? No. It's just called credit cards. And it's just called me just, yeah. At least I'm not spending money in a club or something, like hundreds of dollars or gambling or whatever. It's it, it's stuff that I could retain. Like, you know, I'm not out partying like a rock star or anything. I'm just playing video games. Okay. It's a leisurely thing. It's keeps my sanity right. So yeah, once my throat is healed, the donut lessons will continue. Believe me when I tell you. Um, if you see something going wrong with yourself, with your body, don't be stubborn like me. Take care of it, please. Words of the wise. Don't let shit go in life because then shit bites you on the ass. And then you could have more problems. So I let myself go. Not thinking I need antibiotics, not thinking about it at all. And my whole thing got fucked up. Like, even like my eyebrow, I had like things like a scab or something. I, I picked it and now look, there's a gap in my hair thing that drives me nuts. When I do videos, look at that gap. That drives me nuts. It's probably permanent unless the hair grows back. But now I got like a thing, almost like a war scar for crying out loud. Just leave shit alone. Take care of yourself. Don't let shit go. Because it could turn into a, a deathly thing where you croak. Why would you want to do that? I almost went into the hospital. My own effing stupidity. I can't blame anybody else but myself. Because the moment stuff started going wrong, 
I should have took care of it. I should have went to the doctors. I have coverage. Stop the stupidity. All right, guys, have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.